What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to my Pokemon Blue Let's Play, episode 1. And yeah, I'll let the intro play out. So, this video is being made for the 20th anniversary of the Pokemon Red and Green games coming out in Japan. So I decided to play a Pokemon Blue version. I know it makes no sense. But anyway, let's get underway with the game. Let's first of all go to options, set the tech speed to fast, everything else is okay. And let's get underway. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Like this needle rhino. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Right, so my name is... Does this have the lowercase? Yes. My name is Corvus. And... And... Right! So your name is Corvus. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what was his name again? Right, I don't really have a good name for him, so I'm just gonna name him... Well, his, his name in the manga is Blue, isn't it? Well, since we don't have... I, I'm just gonna name him after his anime counterpart. Come on, Gary. Right. Underway we go. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Corvus, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So I'm sure most people watching this video know how the Pokemon games start. Corvus is playing the SNES. Okay. It's time to go. Okay, so first of all, something that's not in the newer games, let's get our potion. Let's log off. And let's head downstairs. Right. Mom. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Yeah, great, great parent in there. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. I get the reference, but I can't remember what the film's called. Okay, so let's head out. Hey, wait! Don't go out on your own! I don't actually know what the fight in the line was. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Right, so which Pokemon are we going to get? Here's Gary. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come, just wait. Here, Corvus. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. Oh, that's a bit sad that you're giving us your final Pokemon. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one too. Sorry about the terrible voice acting, but... 
You're gonna have to put up with it. Okay, so the Pokemon I want is a Pokemon type that I always start Pokemon games with. And it should be this Pokemon. Okay, it's not that Pokemon. No. It should be this one. That's not the one I want. No. Although I think Squirtle's the best choice for this generation, I'm going for this Pokemon. The Seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. Height 2 foot 4 inches, weight 15 pounds. I do want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur, yes. This Pokemon is really energetic. Corvus received a Bulbasaur. Do you want to give a nickname? Oh, I haven't thought about this. What can I nickname it? Um, okay, just so this makes sense, we're going to name it... We're going to pretend it's a girl. It's called Ruby. The reason for that... I've been watching quite a lot, well I watched all three seasons of Ruby the anime made by Rooster Teeth and Ruby Rose, main character and Bulbasaur has like, oh Venusaur I guess eventually will have like a rose on its back or a plant of some kind. Oh Gary, yours looks a lot stronger does it? Well you do have a Charizard, or will have. Wait Corvus! Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Can't remember how I did Gary's voice. Battle number one is underway. Here's Gary. Sends out his Charmander. As you can see, I'm playing the color version of the game rather than the black and white version. I just prefer the color. Okay, it's a fight. Let's go for tackle goes for the scratch. That does quite a bit of damage. Four damage. I'd say we only did three probably. It goes for the growl but it fails. Nice. Of course he has the 100% accurate move. I don't. Growl fails again. Why, why do moves fail in this generation? It can work that time. It can't miss. So why does it fail? Right, we have a bit of an advantage, apart from the fact that he's doing so much damage compared to us. I think we're doing two and he's doing four. Okay, now we'll do one. Oh no, that did quite a bit. We should be able to wipe them out. And we do! So we win our first battle, get 69 experience, grow, grow to level 6. Look at those stats. 11 attack, 11 defense, 12 speed, 14 special. Corvus defeat Gary. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! 175 Poker Dollars for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight. Toughen it up. Corvus, Gramps, smell you later. So we won our first Pokemon Ball. I know in later games, I believe this guy gives you some potions. But not in this game. This is the science guy in every game. Technology is incredible! You can now store and recall items in Pokemon as data via PC. It's unbelievable! So has my Pokemon been healed? Let's have a look. Yes, it has. I kind of ex I expected it to be, but you never know with the earlier games what's going on. Can you get the map at this point from Daisy? Hi Corvus, Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. Yes I know, I just met him and beat him in a fight. He stood no chance. What you guys say? You look at the Pokemon? 
I will check you out. Ooh, sample. Potion. Nice. So there's not going to be any special rules for this, guys. It's not a Nuzlocke or anything like that. Although, I do want to do a Nuzlocke in the future. This is just a celebration series for the 20th anniversary. Okay, what we're going to run into? A Pidgey. Fortunately, in this generation, there aren't shiny Pokemon. So, I'm fine just killing everything at the start of the game. I have the biggest fear that I'll run into a shiny Pokemon before I get my Pokeballs in games. So I just try and avoid battles entirely. That's a normal type move in this generation. Ghost. I don't know why, but... Because the flying type does exist. I don't know why they made Ghost a normal type move. So get some more experience there. Very nice. Let's head up. Right. Yeah, Pokemon Center, just get a quick heal. Oh, all the noises and everything is so nostalgic. Even though I wasn't the biggest fan of first generation. The first Pokemon game I played was third generation, but I watched the TV show from the very start, so... Games-wise, third generation was always the most nostalgic for me. Hey, you came from Pelletown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Corvus got Oak's parcel. Yes, master. I will deliver the package. So unfortunately, there's no running shoes in this game. Or second gen, is there? I think third gen was the first generation to have running shoes. Well, we'll get a bike after the third gym, or like, around that point. You get it from the Pokemon fan club, you get a bike voucher, and then you can take it back to Cerulean to get a bike. Okay, let's deliver the parcel to Oak. Oh, Corvus! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. I sound more like Professor Rowan from Sinnoh. What? You have something for me? Corvus delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps! What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On my desk there is my invention. Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. It's hard to do an accent and read long words. <laughs> Corvus and Gary, take these with you. Corvus got Pokedex from Oak. It doesn't say Art Pokedex, it just says Pokedex, but fair enough. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world? That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Surely you've completed the Pokedex if it has data on every single Pokemon that you know about at the minute. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Chorus, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I don't know why his accents changed completely. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Corvus. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was either. Right, so let's go to Daisy, get a map. Because she doesn't listen to Gary. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. 
Corvus got town map. Ah, town map. It has that A there. Didn't for Pokedex, which I feel is a much more important item to carry about than a town map. Okay, run into a wild punk one. Wild Pidgey appears. I keep pressing spacebar to try, because I'm playing on PC obviously, and I keep pressing spacebar to try and go through things, but I actually have S set to A. So let's just tackle it, it's an all level 3 Pidgey. Unfortunately we don't get to see an experience bar, which is a bit annoying. Critical hit, the first one of the game. I was terrified that the Charmander was going to get a critical hit when I was on a HP because it was doing 4 damage, so it would have one shot me. Um, Ruby grew to level 7, very nice. Learn Leech Seed. I don't know if that's as good in as it is in later gens, but we'll have to find out. Okay, let's progress. I only seem to run into one Pokemon every time. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Get healed quickly. Right, and now let's go to well, let's go get the old man to teach us how to catch Pokemon first. Ah, I've had my coffee now, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? No. I see you're using a Pokedex. When you catch a Pokemon, Pokedex is automatically updated. What? You don't know how to catch Pokemon? I'll show you how to do that. So do you not have to get the tutorial? Because if you don't, I think that's the only time in the Pokemon games you don't. Wild Weedle appears, level 5. This isn't a very good teaching method. I mean it'll work. Max health and just chuck Pokeballs till you catch it. Alright, Weedle was caught. Very nice. So you now have a Weedle mate, nice. Good for you. First, you need to weaken the Pokemon. Talk with Pokemon. You didn't. Don't lie to me. Why does it not show that in the actual tutorial? It's probably due to programming of some kind where they couldn't fit it on the thing. But let's buy ten Pokeballs. Do they have Premier Balls? No. Um, let's buy three antidotes and let's buy one paralyzed heal. I know from my memory that antidotes are a necessity going through Viridian Forest. We are going to come face Gary, because you can face Gary over to the left of the city. But we're not going to do that straight away. Actually, we will go this way, however, to get a Pokemon. Now, I have a final team planned, but there could be some Pokemon that make it on that are just used for a couple badges early on. So we'll see what we're we'll running into. So, neither and female. Don't really want one of those, but we'll see what we can do to it. If we can get it very low, then I might catch it. That's pretty low. I'll give it a go. Let's check a Pokeball. Shake one, shake twice. Shake three times, and we've caught our second ever Pokemon. New Pokedex data will be added. Poison Pin Pokemon. Although small, its venomous barbs render this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. So it's 1 foot 4, 15 pounds. Doesn't the same weight as Bulbasaur. Um, a nickname for Neoran female. What's a nickname for Neo Queen? Um... 
I can't think of an. Okay, guys, I've found a name. Mary Ann Cotton can be called Britain's mass murderess. She poisoned four husbands and twice as many children with arsenic. So we're gonna call this Pokemon Cotton. All right, apologies for that phone in the background, if you could hear it, guys. All right, Cotton. Um, that. So I've Cotton, the Nidoran female. And we'll get another battle. What are you going to be? You're a Spiro. You're really strong, actually. Level 5. You are really strong. Please don't have Peck. You have Growl. It's okay, how much is this going to do, though? There's a decent amount. Let's try and get a Spiro as well. I need a name for a Spiro. Um... What's his face? <laughs> I'm trying to think of names at the moment. Right, Spiro! Come on. I think we can get one more. It hasn't attacked. That wasn't even a critical hit. I need to chuck a Pokeball now. And we catch the Spearow. Okay, I'm going to pause the video guys for one second just whilst I find a name for a Spearow. I'll read the Pokedex state out first. Tiny bird Pokemon, one foot tall, four pounds, eats bugs in grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. Okay. Yes, I want to give it a nickname. Okay, I found a name. We have the name. Where's the L? So, L, I, N, D, B, E, R, G, H. Right. So, Charles A. Lindbergh, I believe, was the first person to cross the Atlantic solo. I could be wrong there, but in 1929, oh no, in 1927, May of 1927, he flew solo non-stop from New York to Paris. So that's going to be our Spiro, guys. And that's going to wrap up this video. So if you've enjoyed this return to Kanto, a bit of a nostalgia trip for the 20th anniversary leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button if you'd like to say more and from me Corvus95 thank you guys for watching comment down below what your first Pokemon game was thank you for watching and goodbye